Hi guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today we're going to unbox this M052 Mini Launcher. So I just want to make a note on safety, whether I'm uh, disassembling, unboxing, chronoing, whatever it is I'm doing, I may always make sure I'm in a completely safe environment. So that means most of my videos, um, I'm always wearing eye protection, uh, just to make sure that my eyesight stays safe, stays safe. Before I do that, I always make sure that there's no ammunition in uh, any of the mags or in the gun itself. I make sure that the mags are unloaded and unwound to make sure that nothing can happen with that. Obviously, if I'm chrono in, then I've absolutely definitely got my eye protection on to protect myself. I even make sure that my batteries are removed and out of the way so that I know I'm in the safety environment. I also make sure that there's nobody else around as well either, so I'm always in a safest possible environment. If you are working with airsoft stuff, please make sure you do the same. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy my content today, please do like and subscribe because you'll be really helping me out. So, from our recent sort of little mini unboxing, this was one of the little goodies in there, and uh, this belongs to Paul, and I am happy to have a look at this and, uh, and have a play about with it before I send it off to his way. So I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna go outside and make a fool of myself by trying to chrono it, because that was a challenge from Paul, Let's see if I can chrono it. But we've got the mini launcher, and we've also got two little shells for it as well, which I've opened up. So I'll pop this open and have a look at the goodies in there. Now, in the box, very simple, you get a pistol grip, you get the mini launcher that is quite nicely weighted, you get a screw, and an Allen key, and that's your job lot. So we'll get rid of that. So it's mostly constructed already for you. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna slide that on there. And it's not even an Allen key screw. I'm not sure what the Allen key is actually for. It's to loosen or tighten these bolts. So this is a Phillips head screw. And this just makes sure that this uh, gets attached. It's not like a traditional, what you would call an airsoft pistol grip. So just be aware this is more like a, um, what I want to say is mil spec, but it's not mil spec. It's, it looks like an M4 pistol grip, but it's slightly designed. It is much thinner than a normal airsoft pistol grip. So here's the mini launcher. You've got a nice little rail on top for, you know, if you want to put a scope on it that can see 300 times further than these things can shoot. You've got a rail underneath just for if you want to put a little vert grip underneath because you know these are well renowned for recoil and yes i am being sarcastic uh, you've got a safety switch there so at the minute it's off safe and i can fire that and it's on safe and i can't i can barely move the pin out it does move a little bit though and then i just press the top and it opens up ready to accept a shell and i can flick it now what i will say is i don't think i'll be able to flick it let's see no if I flick it, that shell's going to come straight out. So the shell sits in and that's nice and snug. Clip shut and the mini launcher's ready to go. Now this looks like a hell of a lot of fun. And, you know, for clearing out a room, a small room, just pointing this round the corner, just looking down the rail or the scope if you want to put one on, pulling the trigger and just hearing it go boom, it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun uh, for people. It's relatively light even with a shell in and the shells you know these are the um i forgot the brand on these battle axe ones so it's the bottom is uh oh, it's all metal i was going to say it's pom they used to do some uh metal and plastic ones but that is it's all metal uh so these metal shell clicks in absolutely brilliant not too heavy would feel not too heavy sort of hung on a strap on webbing or in a, a large pouch just to pull out and uh, pop in a, a room. So the shells then, we're gonna have a look at the shells. I'll get some gas and some BBs and we'll have a look at this. So they first have a, a valve on the bottom and these have to be reset. So you push it in, you kind of feel a bit of a click and then this should come back out solid to the bottom showing you that the valve is set. So then we're gonna put some gas in from the top, keep it in it all vertical. There we go. Make sure it gets lined up right. I think I've overfilled it and, you know, sort of, there's a little bit of pressure on that, so I know it's set. And then we're just gonna uh, speed loader in some BBs. Now these are 68 rounders. I'm just gonna put a few in each tube. I'm gonna overfill them and then let them all out in a second. 
There goes the BB rolling away. Roll them out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to load them both up and I'm going to film it being shot outside. Obviously make sure you take note of my safety announcement at the start. Right, so I'm outside. I've just got a very short range where I'm going to try, I'm going to launch one first and then we're going to try and chrono it just to satisfy Paul's curiosity. So, loaded the shell in, click it in, it's on safe, so it's now off safe. So I'm going to pop it first. Right, so here we go. First one. There's the first one. It goes off with quite a pop. I'm quite impressed with that. So we'll open that up. And this time, we'll see if we can actually get a chrono out of it. So here's the second shell. Off safe. Here we go. This is really going to suck. Okay. <laughs> Apparently 21.6. I don't believe that for a single second. But that went off with a fair crack again. So now you've seen that, uh, these are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, obviously in winter they're not going to be amazing because uh, the, the gas probably just won't hold and won't propel it very well. But summertime, you know, this time of year, this was filled, filmed uh, towards the end of June in the UK, particularly during a, a bit of a, a heat wave and things. So those, you know, will have uh, sort of expanded the gas really nicely. If you're playing urban sites, that is going to be a lot of fun with a couple of shells to just poke into a room obviously not blind firing and just let it off and try and take somebody out with it range on it is not going to be great at all uh sort of 10 meters maybe 15 maybe 20 to real push particularly if it's warm but it's just the satisfaction of hearing it pop as it goes off feeling that little as it goes there's something quite satisfying uh it might be something that particularly if I take up playing more urban sites I might actually consider picking up myself just to play with and things like that so I hope that's been helpful to you. Please do like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.